150 days, 150 psalms, one verse from each psalm daily. Welcome to the place where you learn the Bible. Hope you're all doing well. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's once again a joy even to meditate the Word of God along with you. And today for our meditation, as we studied yesterday of Psalm 50, today it will be Psalm 51. And uh, I want to talk to you, Psalm 51 is one of the penit penitential psalms uh, by King David. This was a psalm, we know the background of the psalm very well. And uh, I really need not talk to you much about this psalm because this is a psalm. If you are a if you are a member of a traditional church, this is this is a psalm that is often uh, repeated again and again. We pray the psalm more often than any other psalm. I just wonder uh, whether we pray uh, true to our hearts. You know that's the question. But otherwise, we pray the psalm uh, asking God to forgive our sins. When uh, when Nathan the prophet came to King David and told you are that man, you are the one who committed an adultery and you committed a murder and at that time David repented of his sin and he goes back to the feet of God. He throws himself down and he asks for God's forgiveness and he asks God, Lord forgive me. And uh, there are many beautiful verses once again in this psalm but I have chosen verse 12 because I believe this one verse will summarize the entire psalm. Verse 12, Psalm 51 and verse 12. Uh, this is what David says. He says, uh, restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain me a willing spirit. Sustain with me a willing spirit. Uh, then the NLT says like this, restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. In other words, he says, Lord, restore me and not just restore me, but also make sure I don't sin again. After realizing, realizing his sins, he makes, he confesses it to God and then from verse 10, his real prayer begins. He says, verse 10, first he asks God to cleanse him, to create him a clean heart, cleanse him. And then he says to God uh, to renew him, renew a steadfast within me, steadfast spirit within me. First to cleanse him, then to renew him. And then he says in verse 13, 11, he says, goes on to say, Lord, uh, as you cast me away till now, do not ever, ever cast me. Don't wait for one year for prophet Nathan to come. I do not know. That's how I understood. Lord, why did you wait for one year, uh, one one year to uh, to correct me? Why did you do that? Now correct me at once. Do not cast me away. Then he says, do not uh, do not take your Holy Spirit from me. So first two things uh, are what God needs to do, and two things what God should not do. First two things are to to create a clean heart with Him. Second do is to renew a steadfast spirit, and then two don'ts. He says, uh, do not cast me away do not take the holy spirit from me after two do's and two don'ts then he comes to the most important thing lord now restore what i lost because of my sin restore sin makes us a loser sin it robs of our joy it robs of our peace it robs of our time it drops so much of our lives and it destroys it completely that it makes us empty. Sin makes our life empty. And David had lost so many things. He would have lost the close walk with God, the relationship. And after, because after he lost so much, after asking what God needs to do and what God need not do, pleading with God, now he goes on to say, Lord, I have one last, one last request, Lord, restore me, restore me the joy. You know, when we were saved on day one, now I remember when I, when I was, uh, when I had the personal touch of God, you know, I was born in a Christian family, I was brought up with good godly values. My mother struggled to make sure that I was, that I would be a good Christian. But then uh, it was it was in 2007 where I had the personal visitation of God and I remember how my life was the first few months, how it was or maybe the first few years. I remember the length that I that I that I was ready to go to God and over the period of time most of us we lose that zeal, we lose that fire. And these are some of the most important things that needs to be restored. And this was one thing that David was missing for some time after that sin. And this is where David says, Lord, my sin robbed, of, robbed from me many several things, several qualities which I should not have lost, I lost. Now I plead with you just one thing, Lord, restore to me. I need it back. I need the joy back. The joy of salvation. 
This, the joy that I had when I was newly saved. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. The contemporary English version says like this. Make me as happy as you did when you saved me. Make me as happy as you did when you saved me. The message in its own style it says like this. Bring me back from grey exile and put a fresh wind in my sails. Lord in my journey he... All of a sudden, sin made me go into exile. I was exiled from your presence. I was exiled. I was thrown out in the trash. Now, Lord, now, Lord, put a new wind in this journey. Send a new wind. Send a new joy. Send a new revival. Send a new peace. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. You know, this is how even, the, even Moses prayed in Psalm 90 and verse 15. What did, Psalm, what did Moses pray? Make us glad according to the days you have afflicted years and the years we have seen evil. Moses prays, Lord, we have seen evil. We have been afflicted according to the days we suffered. Make us glad according to that time. According to the time we were afflicted, according to the time we were in the wilderness, according to the time we were, uh, we were stamped upon, according to the time that we mourned, we cried, according to that, give us joy, make us glad. Daily beloved in Christ, I do not know what you are going through, maybe some kind of sin or might be some problems. Maybe some mistakes of the past, something comes to torment us. Maybe we have left that sin, maybe we have left that out, but still it keeps on tormenting you. You and I, we have one way to come out of it. Going back to God and then asking God, Lord, restore unto me that joy, restore unto me the time, restore unto me the peace. Whatever is that that you have lost, ask God. And let me tell you, God is faithful enough to restore it to you. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.